Hey guys and welcome back to the third video in the World of Warships videos that I'm making um, and this time we are out in the Kagero, the tier 8 Japanese destroyer and um, we're on the map Haven so our plan initially was basically to try and push sort of northeast and round the round round the top right hand island um, obviously support my team and uh, provide them with smoke and one of only two destroyers on our team um, line up's pretty even again so good matchmaking Let's give them a hard time. so that's where I head head sort of if you can see the map um, sort of the D8 area on the grid in the bottom right hand corner so I'm going to work my way luck, up to that sort of area obviously I can spot for the team and um, give them some intelligence as to the location of our enemy ships obviously I want to really try and spot the other enemy destroyers I've got better concealment than them so just taking a quick look at the matchmaking there to see who we're up against what ships I need to watch out for Obviously, I want to steer clear really of the ships with radar or hydroacoustic if I'm close. So I don't want to get detected too soon. <clears throat> so I pop my speed boost, try and get up there a little bit quicker. And it looks like some of the. Uh, my fellow cruisers are moving up towards me. Chat's obviously being lit up by somebody just spamming chat. But uh, I'm not paying too much attention to that. You do get it from time to time. I don't want to go straight to the corner of this island and round it just in case anyone is there. I sort of want to take a wide, go round quite wide if I can, just to give me a, a little bit of distance in case somebody is there. Because obviously, depending on where the enemy turn up, they could they could be right round this corner. So I drop my smoke for my friendlies. So it gives them a little bit of cover should there be some ships detected around this corner. Obviously, I mean there couldn't be, there might not be, but um, there are. And bang, Edinburgh, 3.5 kilometres away. So instantly I'm like, right, this guy's going to give me some trouble. He looks like he's just going to sit there. So I'm going to fire my torpedoes. And uh, he's obviously not expecting me to be there, or if he is. He uh, doesn't do too much to uh, get out of the way of the torpedoes that are heading straight for and obviously the obligatory salvo from every single ship now. We've got one torpedo on him, we've got the second and he's down and that's an important ship for them that they've just lost. Obviously I'm still detecting because I fired my guns but uh, it's only a couple of ships now we've got line of sight on me. And we've got first blood, first kill. Obviously I'm quite pleased about that in chat. I'm just hoping that uh, my friendly ships are going to help support me while I was uh, initially spotted, but now I'm not. I'm going to drop back into my smoke and uh, get my engines back online. Try and do some damage to this North Carolina over here. See if I can get some fires burning. It looks to be travelling pretty slow and... Uh, I was probably the only one detecting him. But we've got a fire lit. Damage count is going up nicely, so he's not put that fire out yet. So 
Somebody's firing torpedoes behind me. And uh, the smoke's about to go, so stop firing. I don't want to be detected too soon. We've got an enemy aircraft in front of us, which I think is, might have been from the Belfast. But here comes the Emerald. And I thought he was going to round the corner and make the same mistake, but it looks like he's turning away. So I just sort of want to hold this corner, stop them from rounding this bend, rounding this, this island, um, and just keeping an eye on what, the, what my friendlies have spotted. So I'm just going to back up a little bit. And... Uh, it uh, looks like the Emerald's popped his smoke. It looks like the North Carolina's turning away. I've got targeted at the minute. I'm just watching the guy He's directly in front of me, so I don't fire torpedoes directly at him. But he realises what I'm doing. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, detected by aircraft. So, that aircraft's down, no longer detected. But those torpedoes will have been spotted by uh, that aircraft. So, the Emerald, obviously, is uh, moving out of his smoke. He's seen them come in. So I'm just looking for a target now, somebody who's not really paying too much attention that I was there sailing in a straight line, there's a lot of battleships like to do and somebody who I can get a nice spread of torpedoes and get some hits on King George is coming under some sustained fire from behind me I'm just asking the team whether they want any smoke if they're going to push forward. So I've dropped some more smoke. Here's some torpedoes coming. I don't quite know who they were against. I don't know whether they were just speculative torpedoes in case I was floating around this, this area. So we've got a Hippo, a Margie, and Emerald. And they all seem to be joining each other. Looks like the Emerald's turning south. Our torpedoes are back online. I'm just wary of the Emerald, to be honest with you, and obviously I don't know where the... Uh, well, up until this point, I didn't know where the enemy destroyers are, but at, the point, at, the, at this point in the game, they're both, uh, they've both been taken out. So, the Imagi looks like the, my next target. It's a fair distance away, so I've just spread him about a little bit, just in case he slows down or turns away. And uh, I think I'll just drop back into my smoke. The shame is, I think I'm the only one spotting some of these guys, and I am. So the Amagi, uh, we'll get some shots away on him, see if we can light some fires, maybe get him to waste his damage control. Fifteen seconds on the uh, smoke lasting. The, first, the second salvo torpedoes don't look that good, but this set uh, look okay, okay. We're going to get some hits on him here. And you get three, four torpedo hits, three course flooding. Now, no doubt he'll have used his damage control to stop the flooding. Or maybe not. The damage counter still counting on. Got my guard here who's pushing the centre. So yeah, that Amalgi is flooding. He must have just not he must have not long used his uh, damage control and he's down. Not by my hand though, unfortunately. And this Magami looks like he's about to go as well. <coughs> So 
So, the next target. He's looking like a prospective target at the minute. The North Carolina looks like he's pushing in to the middle of the map. I was just keeping an eye on this Emerald because I didn't want to be too over aggressive and get caught out in the middle of the map by him. I'm a little bit cautious here. Bismarck's moving down this way. So, and then the King George pops up. So I think, well, maybe if they travel with down here together, I could get a, get a salvo on both of them. So I just bide my time. A little bit early on the first set. And on the second set, just in case they turn away from my location. I'm not expecting them to come this way, we're bearing in mind there's been torpedoes and smoke over this way since the start of the match. And uh, our friendlies uh, on the west side of the map are about to start capturing the objective. And at the minute, I was like, oh, I don't know where the King George has gone, and then he pops up. So he's took one, and this North Carolina is going to take one as well. He's already on fire, so that's going to start a flood as well. So yeah, not pretty happy with that, I'm doing 26,000 damage. They've obviously both just used damage control because the fire's out on the North Carolina. This hipper's pushing me on this side of the map. The Emerald's very low health, so I'm sort of in two miles whether to fire, give away my location. And I do think twice about it for a second. And he goes down, so that saved me getting detected. My chance to take him out. We're leading on points, we're capturing the enemy base. We're leading on the ship counts. So I was feeling pretty good at this point. I thought well, I could probably be a little bit more aggressive um, than I have been. I mean, I've I've supported my team, I've done you know, like eight torpedo hits at the minute, we've set a fire um, and we've just sort of held these guys back and uh, just on the map if you look north of me, I don't think I've spotted it just yet is this enemy hipper, he's starting to push me so I start to fall back away from that corner. I send some torpedoes in case he rounds that island. And I keep another set for the North Carolina I'm lining up now. He looks like he's making a push for our cap for him. And I'm detected. And it uh, looks like I'm going to run into the island. I wasn't paying too much attention. Bit of a schoolboy error. But this North Carolina is not really thinking thinks he's safe and he's going to take some torpedoes he's down there we've got our first kill and obviously that's giving away my location the hipper now knows I'm over here so he's going to make a beeline for me they're trying to decap the Bismarck's gone back to try and stop the capture at this point I just wanted to get moving I need to get out of here and obviously reversing really slowly because this hipper any second is going to come out from behind them islands, behind me, and uh, start doing me some damage, as he, sh as he rightfully should, and here he is, a lot sooner than I expected. Um, his first elbow wasn't up to too much, so I think, well, we spotted him, I might as well start trying to do some damage to him. I've set a fire. I think the, my friendly start to realise I'm in a lot of trouble here. And really the hippo should have punished me a lot more than he is doing. Engine boost deactivated. So I'm safe, I'm behind the island, I'm not detected anymore. Torpedoes have come back up, so I'm thinking well he's looks like he's just gonna sail straight on, so I'll send him a set of torpedoes. At least if he takes me down. I mean I could have hid behind the island. But I thought, well, Torpedoes dead ahead. it's not far off the end of the match. They've got two ships left. 
wasn't overly concerned. Even if I didn't get taken out. He's really spotted the torpedoes, but it's way too late for that. And there we go, second kill on the board. And we've got the high calibre to add to our collection. 160,000 damage. There's only one enemy ship left, and he's trying to stop the capture. And still five minutes left on the time, so yeah, I did really well. 10 torpedo hits, 11 torpedo hits, 10 course flooding. We've killed, we've destroyed two ships, set two fires, 43. Uh, shells on target so yeah really really pleased with that game <clears throat> and 400,000 uh, credits 3,000 XP and top of the charts for that game so yeah really good so I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, obviously third in the collection of the replays that I'm putting out obviously comment subscribe like the video if you do and um, obviously all comments much appreciated and um, yeah I look forward to seeing you in the next one